and with Steve, Steve blowing the last game out, there shouldn't be a lot of TV jitters there. It's split screen again. Brooklyn side. Oh, doesn't carry out the nine. A wiggling nine pin. Wiggling nine pin. Gives Steve a 75 in the first frame with that 56 pins handicap. Across the lane. Nope, it's going to stay on the left hand side. It's Jimmy Caruso. From Marietta, Georgia, he's been bowling for 11 years. There's a fingertip black Columbia U dot. There's a very nice ball. And won't take out the four pin. A little bit heavy. Jimmy should have any problem converting this. What happened to all the high average bowlers this morning? I went out to Jimmy first round. Oh, okay. Looks like the the younger one, the younger of the junior bowlers took over today. Bowled very well this morning, and he's going left. Doesn't convert the four pin. Gives him a 28 in the second through two frames. This morning's been twice that Jimmy and I has met qualifying for TV. Championship match. Jimmy, he said, has a current average has, has a current average of 155. His highest average ever is a 160, but he did have a 639 series. That's scratch. Good ball. Good ball. Strike this time. Takes out the nine pin. He's not going to let down. While we've got a chance, I'd like to inform everybody that on Sunday the 15th, we're having a adult child tournament up here at Belmont Lanes. And we have, for, for more information, you can give us a call here at the bowling center. On lane number three, left of the head pin. Still carried out seven, leaves the one three five. The bowling times for that tournament are going to be at 9 a.m., 12, and 3 p.m. on the 15th. It is open to anyone who would like to bowl in it. There's a look at Steve Zaring. He's going to try and convert the spare. And got two of them. He still has quite a big lead. Jimmy's going to need to get a few of these strikes in a row to get back in this match. But there's quite a few frames left. And it looks like a good ball. And he gets the strike. Jimmy is a student at McEachern High School. It says here he works for you, Bob. Yeah, he works here. He's a porter and works on the counter. The series today was a 462 for two games. And Brooklyn side, he takes out the 10. It's three in a row for Jimmy. That's what he needs to get back in this match. We're going to take a quick commercial break right here, and we'll be back with the conclusion of our championship match right, at, right after these commercial messages. Please stay with us. Just joined your first bowling league, been giving some thought to the idea you'd really like to take up bowling as a sport? The first step to becoming a good bowler is to have the right equipment. 
Belmont Lanes has one of the finest pro shops in Cobb County. Let us outfit you with your own Brunswick ball bag and shoes. Our professional staff will provide you with a custom fit and engraving. Accessories are available too, from wristbands to bowling shirts for you or your team, and a wide selection of Brunswick equipment priced to suit any budget. Stop by Belmont Lanes. Find out how inexpensive bowling equipment can be. We're located at 1000 Cherokee Road behind the Belmont Hill Shopping Center in Smyrna. And we're back with the conclusion of our championship match between Jimmy Caruso and Steve Zaring. Steve Zaring has the lead at the present time. And Brooklyn side. Oh, won't take out the 10 pin. Not quite hard enough. Right-hander needs to go across the alley at it. Stand over on the left-hand side of the approach. Let the ball work across the alley. Standing in the middle of the approach. Ball's gonna stay over on the left-hand side. It's gonna give him a 121 through the fifth frame. Take a quick walk around the, the telescope. Maybe he's thinking about what he's doing. Steve on lane number three, pulling in the sixth frame. Right now he is in the lead. Good looking ball. Yes, and he gets the strike. Little man's giving Jimmy a tough go of it. Jimmy on lane number four, pulling his sixth frame. He's got three in a row. Going for number four. Good looking ball, and he carries a strike. Four in a row. He's tough. And this is not no tap. No. This is one for all and all for one. Straight up, you get what you get. Let's see if Jimmy can get number five in a row. Number three, Brooklyn side leaves the. What do you want to call that, Tommy? The mother in law. The mother in law. The 3 9. This is not an easy conversion. He's got to hit the three pin right on top right in the middle of it to get that 8-9 pin out of there. And he does. Very good conversion. Made up those 56 pins in a hurry. Sure does. That gives Jimmy a 136th in a 6th frame. Steve is on a strike. Another strike would put some fresh on. Good looking ball in the pocket. Yes, and he gets the strike. There's two in a row for Steve. He's happy. Give him a 15 pin advantage with another strike here. See if he can get one more on lane three. Looks like he pulled it across his body a little bit, went in the channel on the left hand side. Gives him a 141 through the sixth frame. He's still in the lead by five pins. See if he can get the get the spare here. There's a better ball. Brooklyn side. Yes! And he gets the spare. I bet he wishes that was his first ball. Gives him a 161 in the seventh frame on a spare. Jimmy Caruso has a 136 in the sixth frame. He also has a spare up in the seventh, shooting his eighth frame. Jimmy's throwing a real good ball right now. Good looking ball, and he gets the strike. 
Gonna give him a 156 in the seventh. Still five pin down. Still five pins down. A strike here will put him up by five. Yes, it will. Flush. Jimmy's mother and father are Barry and Tony Caruso. He has a brother, Robbie, a sister, Kim. They live in Marietta. Ooh, he got away with that one. Right on top of the head pin, leaves a 4-7. Got a good break on that one. Jimmy's hobbies are bowling, bowling, and bowling. Highest game is a 268. And that was, quali that was the game he bowled to qualify for the last TV show we had. So on lane number three, let's see if he can convert the spare. And he does. Gives him a 176 through eight frames with a spare in the ninth. Steve Zaring is gonna bowl his ninth and 10th frames right now. This is a big ball right here. Gets it out, good looking ball, Brooklyn side. Oh! Doesn't take out the 10 pin. That would have been not, that would have been a key ball right there. Needs to pick it up and set himself up for the 10. Yes, he does. Gives him 180 through the eighth frame. He needs to pick this. It's not a must situation, but it would definitely help him going into the 10th frame. Cross lane. Stays out to the left just a little bit. Gives him a 189 in ninth frame. Jimmy has a 176 in the eighth on a spare. It all depends on what Steve does right here. Got a seven count, left the one, two, four. There we go. Now we got the camera on the right lane. Just waiting to see something. I never did see anything. And he must convert this. And he does. Good ball. With a strike, he can finish out with a 204, which would be a 148 scratch. Same as he had last game. That's 50, another 50 pins over his average. He's bowled very well today. Yes, he is. I'm sorry, at 209 with a strike here. And he gets three of them. Gives him a 202. Very good game. Seven pins. Seven pins to win the match. Jimmy Caruso on lane four. And he gets nine pins. That'll give him the title. He's got a 207 right now. 204, I mean, right now. Excuse me. He is our champion. And he misses. So if you're going to do it, that's a good time to do it. Jimmy Caruso is our champion with a 207 to Steve Zaring's 202. Very fine match. And we'll be right back with the pres presentation of our awards right after these commercial messages. Please stay with us.